It's getting to be time for the test. But first, you'll need to decide how you like to practice. There are two ways to sharpen your test-taking skills with our test, mini and full. The mini test is unique to our test. It's short, as the name suggests, meaning you'll only need to solve a small number of questions chosen by AI just for you. If you are just getting started, you may want to start with the mini for some quick practice without spending hours taking an entire exam. Our full test gives you a taste of what the actual exam is going to be like. If you are closer to exam time, then it might be best to start with the full test. Here, you'll find a more authentic experience. If you've decided what's more suitable for you, choose the test option you like and check out. When you're done with the purchase, you can always access your tests from my page of your account. Ready to begin? Before you start, ensure you have a good Wi-Fi connection, a fully charged laptop or desktop, and a quiet space. Have everything? Great! Let's get started. Select the test you want to take and click Start Your Test. For this tutorial, we will go for mini test for Digital SAT. Digital SAT is divided into two sections, reading and writing, and math. Review the directions carefully before starting each section. You'll see one question at a time. While answering questions, keep track of how much time remains alongside how many questions you've solved. This is a good way to ensure a steady pace. For multiple choice questions, you can select your answer right away or click X to eliminate incorrect choices. For tables or graphs, you can zoom in or click on them to catch a closer look. While these are general functions for all tests, there are a few additional functionalities within the Digital SAT to give you an authentic test-taking experience exactly the same as the testing platform called Blue Book. Here, you can highlight and add annotations to passages within the reading and writing section. For math questions, you'll have the option to use the Desmos calculator embedded in our test. This calculator is also used in the actual digital SAT. Desmos graphing calculator enables you to draw out functions to easily solve graph problems. Make sure you take advantage of it. We recommend going through the whole test at once, but you can always pause the test and come back later to continue. Stopping the test will reset all your records, so know the difference between the two. If you face any issues or concerns, then let us know. We're always around to provide additional support. When you are done with all sections, click Finish Test so you can check your results in the analytics report. That's it for this video. Be sure to watch the next video where we'll explore what's in the analytics report.